Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So we're working our way through our viewer requested questions and this one here is new from Kevin Zay. What will cluster bombs do to stationary ships? What will CBUs do to stationary ships? It's a fair question. Um, is it educational or useful anyway? I guess it's just interesting more than anything. What will CBUs do? So uh, what we're going to look at, CBU 87 and 97 are going to be popular. Uh, the 87, a small charge, kind of anti-infantry, non-guided, whereas the 97 is larger anti-armor puck so probably nine we'll try both just just for the lols but 97s will expect to maybe do some damage to a ship on the plus side they're going to be attacking from the top and you can always do more damage from a ship from a warship from the top and no idea what to expect really because these pucks although anti-armor they're not really designed to blow ships up what do you think uh, i think they will cause some damage Oh, but they're not explosive. Oh, the, the pugs aren't explosive, you know. They're just like, I don't really know what they are. They're just like solid yeah. copper, copper elements I mean, or something. I think, I think the aircraft carrier will be okay, but I think some of the other ships will. Personally, I think in real life, these wouldn't hurt the ships because the infantry ones just wouldn't, you know, do anything apart from put some shrapnel in the air. And those those solid copper charges or whatever they are really designed to go into tanks. I personally don't think it would do much damage to a ship. However, I usually am wrong. So we've got an LHA, we've got a cruiser, guided missile cruiser, a large aircraft carrier, and a bunch of speedboats. Um, I guess we'll just put the bombs on the mothership here in the middle and they'll decide, are they going to guide to the ships? No idea. Are they going to damage the ships? No idea. We'll have to see. Right, I'm going to go in with a couple of 97s, RC, and then you can follow up with a couple of 97s. Master arm is on. We're going to go air to ground. We're going to go CBU 97. I want uh, pairs. How do we put pairs? There we go. One pair. Sorry, let me go and find the boats. Where are they, RC? In the ocean. Ooh. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> thank, you, thank you for the RC. I'm going to go and get no it. No problem. Man, this plane's maneuverable. Charge is set for 1500 feet. And there. And let's see if I can get this right, which I probably can't. Bombs away, I'll see. Nice. Separation. No joy on pucks. I think they're falling. Oh, see, yeah, yes, absolutely. They're, 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 yeah, they're I there. see them, right. These are the containers that contain the armor piercing pucks. They're going to um, detonate, go upwards, and then seek targets. There they go. Go, Pucks. Wow. Oh, my jeebus. We've sunk something, and they're still exploding. Jesus, look at that damage. Kill the speedboat. OP, maybe? We've even got this guy smoking. Right, so let me go and have a look at damage. We've uh, just nuked a whole bunch of speedboats, which is awesome. It's done a little bit of damage to Stennis, a few percent, a few percent to Ticonderoga and one percent to Tawara. So just going to repeat the process, bung it on the middle of the ship and um, see how it goes, RC. Bomblets are out. Gonna let them drop at a certain altitude. They will separate, bounce up and the pucks will seek their targets. Man, these are so OP. Okay, they're going. Pow, pow. Pow, 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 pow. I'll get down damage reports because it's not me, not my bomb. Pow, 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 pow. Kill the speedboat. Doing a bunch of damage to the ships. Wicked. Still going. Still going. 27% is something. Wow, you do so much more damage. That's uh, multiplayer desync by the sounds of it. Uh, let me go and have a look at the damage. That's all the speedboats gone, I'll see. So... Small vessels absolutely nukes them completely. The vessels, as you know, the damage models on vessels are, just aren't working very well. Uh, so as a client with the same bomb, he did about 10 times more damage than me as the, as the host. It's just weird how that works. So it's done loads of damage to Conderoga, about 30%. Stennis has done about 10, 15%, and pretty much no percent to the LHA. Oh, I can never say it, LHA. So it turns out they're actually very effective weapons. And you don't have to be perfectly accurate as well, because if you missed that ship, they would still kind of seek that ship within a few hundred feet. So interesting. Um, could you want to go and try with your 87s, purely out of interest? Sure. I'll see. I'm just going to memorize these health bars. Pickle. Cool. Box out. Something happened, I'll see. What kind of damage did you get? Uh, it says 24%. Wow. 
I wonder if that's a cumulative. Let me go and have a look at the damage. It only hit the Stennis. They're crap, those 87s. It only hit the Stennis, these unguided submunitions. It did do a little bit of damage. Uh, it's, it's now a total of 24%. So it did about... two. Those two bombs did about, I don't know... Uh, 5% something. So it did a little bit of damage. So there is it shown for you. Um, you can damage them whether you'd actually want to. I mean, you, well, you could never really use them because those boats are going to shoot you down in, in real life. But um, it shows that it can be done. And it's very useful against small vessels, speedboats that are not particularly defended. Anything you want to add to that, RC? Oh, that's it. I hope that answers the question. See you later.